You either control your mind or it controls you. It is always better to imitate a successful man than to envy him. Desire backed by faith knows no such word as impossible. If you do not see great riches in your imagination, you will never see them in your bank balance. Focus on the possibilities for success, not on the potential for failure. Both success and failure are largely the results of habit. Deliberately seek the company of people who influence you to think and act on building the life you desire. The primary reason for failure is that people do not develop new plans to replace those plans that didn't work. Find out what you really love to do, and then find a way to make a good living doing it. Great achievement is usually born of great sacrifice, and is never the result of selfishness. Start going the extra mile and opportunity will follow you. There is a vast difference between failure and temporary defeat. The worst of all human ailments, indecision. Work whatever tools you may have at your command and better tools will be found as you go along. There is one weakness in people for which there is no remedy. It is the universal weakness of lack of ambition. Time is wealth, and unlike money when it is gone you cannot replace it. If you must speak ill of another, do not speak it, write it in the sand near the water's edge. If you learn to budget your time correctly, you will have time for all your needs. Your only limitation is the one you set up in your own mind. No man is ever whipped until he quits, in his own mind. Any idea, plan, or purpose may be placed in the mind through repetition of thought. Without doubt, the most common weakness of all human beings is the habit of leaving their minds open to the negative influence of other people. When you close the door of your mind to negative thoughts, the door of opportunity opens to you. Keep your mind fixed on what you want in life, not on what you don't want. Patience, persistence, and perspiration make an unbeatable combination for success. A positive mind finds a way it can be done, a negative mind looks for all the ways it can't be done. Every adversity contains, at the same time, a seed of equivalent opportunity. The number one reason people fail in life is because they listen to their friends, family, and neighbors. Scars are wisdom in disguise. One of the most valuable things any person can learn is the art of using the knowledge and experience of others. Success is knowing what you're doing, loving what you're doing, and believing what you're doing. Remember, no more effort is required to aim high in life, to demand abundance and prosperity, than is required to accept misery and poverty. Action is the real measure of intelligence. Positive and negative emotions cannot occupy the mind at the same time. It takes half your life before you discover life is a do-it-yourself project. You will never be greater than the thoughts that dominate your mind. Life reflects your own thoughts back to you. Until you have learned to be tolerant with those who do not always agree with you, you will be neither successful nor happy. Life is a mirror of your consistent thoughts. If it isn't your job to do it, perhaps it is your opportunity. Effort only fully releases its reward after a person refuses to quit. The best way to succeed in this world is to act on the advice you give to others. Cherish your visions and your dreams, as they are the children of your soul, 
the blueprints of your ultimate achievements. To become successful you must be a person of action. Merely to know is not sufficient. It is necessary both to know and do. If you cannot do great things, do small things in a great way. Do not wait, the time will never be just right. Start where you stand and work with whatever tools you may have. Set your mind on a definite goal and observe how quickly the world stands aside to let you pass. Our only limitations are those we set up in our own minds. Opportunity often comes disguised in the form of misfortune or temporary defeat. One of the most important principles of success is developing the habit of going the extra mile. The men of decision cannot be stopped. The men of indecision cannot be started. Take your own choice. The only person to get even with are those who have helped you. Nothing is impossible to the person who backs desire with enduring faith. Understand that the only way to get happiness is by giving it away to others. Don't wait. The time will never be just right. Victory is always possible for the person who refuses to stop fighting. You may be hurt if you love too much, but you will live in misery if you love too little. You will attract to yourself people who harmonize with your own philosophy of life, whether you wish it or not. Riches don't respond to wishes. They respond only to definite plans, backed by definite desires, through constant persistence. Buying cheap to save money is like stopping the clock to save time. Neither works. It is literally true that you can succeed best and quickest by helping others to succeed. A goal is a dream with a deadline. The starting point of all achievement is desire. Your attitude towards problems, difficulties, and adversities is the most important factor in overcoming them. Your real wealth can be measured not by what you have but by who you are. The ability to negotiate with other people without friction and argument is the outstanding quality of all successful people. Weak desires bring weak results, just as a small amount of fire brings a small amount of heat. No one is ready for a thing until he believes he can acquire it. Fear is faith in reverse gear. Riches, when they come in huge quantities, are never the result of hard work. No man can succeed in a line of endeavor which he does not like. No one ever is defeated until defeat has been accepted as a reality. One of the most common causes of failure is the habit of quitting when one is overtaken by temporary defeat. Anything acquired without effort and without cost is generally unappreciated. Your mental attitude gives your entire personality a drawing power that attracts the circumstances, things, and people you think about most. Your real boss is the one who walks around under your hat. If you do not conquer self, you will be conquered by self. Whatever you think today becomes what you are tomorrow. When opportunity came, the person didn't realize it because it came in the form of misfortune. Most great people have attained their greatest success just one step beyond their greatest failure. It takes a habit to replace a habit. Reduce your plan to writing. The moment you complete this, you will have definitely given concrete form to the intangible desire. Live each day as if it were your last, and you'll develop a keen respect for opportunity. 
Think twice before you speak, because your words and influence will plant the seed of either success or failure in the mind of another. If you try and fail, make another effort, and still another, until you succeed. There is a difference between wishing for a thing and being ready to receive it. Desire is the starting point of all achievement, not a hope, not a wish, but a keen pulsating desire which transcends everything. Strength and growth come only through continuous effort and struggle. If you fail to control your own mind, you may be sure you will control nothing else. Set your target and keep trying until you reach it. The mind requires regular use to remain strong. Most misfortunes are the results of misused time. Trying to get without first giving is as fruitless as trying to reap without having sown. A closed mind stumbles over the blessings of life without recognizing them. Constancy of purpose is the first principle of success. You have within you all the power you need with which to get whatever you want or need in this world. The happiest people are those who have learned to mix play with their work and to bind the two together with enthusiasm. Success is good at any age, but the sooner you find it, the longer you will enjoy it. You don't have to fear defeat if you believe it may reveal powers that you didn't know you possessed. If the mind of men can believe, the mind of men can achieve. Persistence is nothing more than concentrated effort mixed with determination and faith. Behind every adversity is an opportunity. Anything you do to and for another person, you do it to and for yourself. Big pay and little responsibility are circumstances seldom found together. The imagination is the workshop of the soul, where are shaped all the plans for individual achievement. The way of success is the way of continuous pursuit of knowledge. First you fuel the desire, then the desire will fuel you. Burn the boats as you enter the island and you will take the island. You become what you think about. You will resemble, tomorrow, the dominating thoughts that you keep alive in your mind today. Decide where you are going and how you are to get there. Then make a start from where you now stand. You can be absolutely certain that when you feel you are being most unfairly tested, you are being prepared for great achievement. Successful people, in all callings, never stop acquiring specialized knowledge related to their major purpose, business, or profession. To succeed in life, succeed at being yourself. Knowledge is only potential power. Whatever your mind feeds upon your mind attracts to you. A wise man watches his faults more closely than his virtues, fools reverse the order. No matter where you are now, whatever you can conceive and believe, you can achieve. If you are really great, you will let others discover this fact from your actions. It is strange, but true, that the most important turning points of life often come at the most unexpected times and in the most unexpected ways. If you have no major purpose, you are drifting toward certain failure. It is your responsibility to make sure that positive emotions constitute the dominating influence of your mind. Watch the one ahead of you and you'll learn why he is ahead. Then emulate him. Self-control is solely a matter of thought control. Keep on keeping on, no matter how hard the going may be. The man who always takes and never gives is not a leader. He is a parasite.
The development of self-confidence starts with the elimination of this demon called fear. Men are paid, not merely for what they know, but more particularly for what they do with that which they know. Keep your mind focused on what you want and act accordingly. You will achieve success. Nobody rises above mediocrity unless they use the brains of other people. Most illness begins with a negative mind. You are the sum total of your dominating or most prominent thoughts. Every man is what he is because of the dominating thoughts which he permits to occupy his mind. Enthusiasm is the steam that drives the engine. The Creator gave us the complete, unchallengeable right of prerogative over the one thing, and only thing we own, our mind. Wisdom consists in knowing what not to want as well as what to want. Dreams come true when desire transforms into concrete actions. All you are or ever shall become is the result of the use to which you put your mind. Do not search for success off in the distance, but instead recognize it and grasp it right where you are. Success comes to those who become success conscious. Failure comes to those who indifferently allow themselves to become failure conscious. A resourceful person will always make opportunity fit his or her needs. Failure cannot cope with persistence. A man is as big as the measure of his thinking. Before you can control conditions, you must first control yourself. The best way to sell yourself to others is first to sell the others to yourself. Lack of loyalty is one of the major causes of failure in every walk of life. We become who we hang out with. Change your mental attitude, and the world around you will change accordingly. You wouldn't desire something if you didn't have the talent to carry it out. The only trouble with this world today lies in our lack of understanding of the power of imagination. When your desires are strong enough you will appear to possess superhuman powers to achieve. If you truly want to succeed, be prepared to go the extra mile. We are the masters of our fate, the captains of our souls, because we have the power to control our thoughts. The greatest failure in life is to stop trying. Those who reach decisions promptly and definitely, know what they want, and generally get it. Within every setback or obstacle or disadvantage there is the seed of an equal or opposite or greater advantage or benefit. The world does not pay men for that which they know. It pays them for what they do, or induce others to do. Money without brains is always dangerous. The power to think as you wish to think is the only power over which you have absolute control. Genuine wisdom is usually conspicuous through modesty and silence. There are no limitations to the mind except those we acknowledge. If you are influenced by the opinions of others, you will have no desire of your own. Life is a game board. Time is your opponent. If you procrastinate, you will lose the game. You must make a move to be victorious. If you don't know what you want, don't say you never had a chance. Every negative event contains within it the seed of an equal or greater benefit. Every great leader of the past, whose record I have examined, was beset by difficulties and met with temporary defeat before arriving. If you can conceive something in your mind and believe it to be true, then you can achieve it. A person's acts are always in harmony with the dominating thoughts of his or her mind. 
Procrastination is the bad habit of putting of until the day after tomorrow what should have been done the day before yesterday. The person who takes no chances generally has to take whatever is left when others are through choosing. You can always become the person you would have liked to be. It is now a documented principle of psychology that human beings subconsciously move in the direction of their most dominant thought. One thing we all know, if one does not possess persistence, one does not achieve noteworthy success in any calling. Cherish the music that stirs in your heart. Fear is the most costly of all the human emotions, even though most fears have no foundation in fact. No accurate thinker will judge another person by that which the other person's enemies say about him. No man, or woman, is free until he learns to do his own thinking and gains the courage to act on his own personal initiative. Hold a picture of yourself long and steadily enough in your mind's eye, and you will be drawn toward it. No man achieves great success who is unwilling to make personal sacrifices. Remember that it is not the lawyer who knows the most law, but the one who best prepares his case, who wins. If you were your own employer, would you be entirely satisfied with the day's work you have done today? Nature cannot be tricked or cheated. She will give up to you the object of your struggles only after you have paid her price. Your greatness is here and now. Your happiness is here and now. Money is either a good or bad influence, according to the character of the person who possesses it. Do not let a day go by without taking some time for yourself, some time you spend in pure pleasure, as you see it. Waste no words on a man who dislikes you. Actions will impress him more. If you must let someone down, be sure it isn't the friend who helped you up when you were down. Wise men, when in doubt whether to speak or to keep quiet, give themselves the benefit of the doubt, and remain silent. No one can make you jealous, angry, vengeful, or greedy. Unless you let him. If you neglect to exercise self-control, you are not only likely to injure others, but you are sure to injure yourself. If you are sure you are right, you need not worry what the world thinks. A state of mind is something that one assumes. It cannot be purchased, it must be created. Every well-built house started in the form of a definite purpose plus a definite plan in the nature of a set of blueprints. Many successful people have found opportunities in failure and adversity that they could not recognize in more favorable circumstances. Genius is merely the capacity for taking infinite pains. You give before you get. Every time you change your orders without obvious reason, you weaken your authority. Celebrate your success and stand strong when adversity hits, for when the storm clouds come in, the eagles soar while the small birds take cover. When you have talked yourself into what you want, right there is the place to stop talking and begin saying it with deeds. Remember when your plans fail, that temporary defeat is not permanent failure. Success requires no explanations. Failure permits no alibis. The world has the habit of making room for the men whose actions show that he knows where he is going. No man has a chance to enjoy permanent success until he begins to look in a mirror for the real cause of all his mistakes. Fortunes gravitate to men whose minds have been prepared to attract them just as surely as water gravitates to the ocean. 
The fear of criticism is at the bottom of the destruction of most ideas which never reach the planning and action stage. You can do it if you believe you can. One sound idea is all that you need to achieve success. When you are able to maintain your own highest standards of integrity, regardless of what others may do, you are destined for greatness. Tell the world what you intend to do, but first show it. Every individual has the power to change his or her material or financial status by first changing the nature of his or her beliefs. Edison failed 10,000 times before he made the electric light. Do not be discouraged if you fail a few times. Indecision is the seedling of fear. If you do not believe in cooperation, look what happens to a wagon that loses a wheel. You have to understand you cannot have faith and fear at the same time, you can only have one or the other. When one is truly ready for a thing, it puts in its appearance. Failure seems to be nature's plan for preparing us for great responsibilities. Initiative is as essential to success as a hub is essential to a wagon wheel. A man who can speak two languages is worth two men. Control your own mind, and you may never be controlled by the mind of another. What you think, so you will become. No person with a grievance can be also a person with an attractive personality. Capability means imagination. Friendship freely given and gratefully received is one of life's greatest gifts. More gold has been mined from the thoughts of men than has been taken from the earth. Resolve to throw off the influences of any unfortunate environment and to build your own life to order. Criticism will plant fear in the human heart or resentment, but it will not build love or affection. First you give life and action and guidance to ideas, then they take on power of their own and sweep aside all opposition. Faith is indispensable for success. Faith is induced and strengthened by the instructions you give your subconscious mind. Persistence is to the character of man as carbon is to steel. The majority of people who fail to accumulate money sufficient for their needs are, generally, easily influenced by the opinion of others. Every problem comes with an equal or greater opportunity. Success in life depends upon happiness, and happiness is found in no other way than through service that is rendered in a spirit of love. The man who actually knows just what he wants in life has already gone a long way toward attaining it. The individual with a negative mental attitude attracts troubles as a magnet attracts steel fittings. Willpower and desire, when properly combined, make an irresistible pair. Faith is the only agency through which the cosmic force of infinite intelligence can be harnessed and used by men. The one who tries to get something for nothing generally winds up getting nothing for something. If you don't want your life to be messed up, don't fool around with those who have messed up theirs. Are you waiting for success to arrive, or are you going out to find where it is hiding? If you want riches, you must refuse to accept any circumstance that leads toward poverty. No one is going to pay much attention to the person who has no confidence in himself. When enthusiasm runs in the front door, worry runs out the back door. Winners never quit, quitters never win. The one and only thing over which you have complete and total control is how you focus your own mind. Luckily, this determines everything else. 
Self-confidence results, first, from exact knowledge, second, the ability to impart that knowledge. Every person who wins in any undertaking must be willing to burn his ships and cut all sources of retreat. Indecision, Doubt and Fear The members of this unholy trio are closely related, where one is found, the other two are close at hand. Your real courage shows best in the hour of adversity. Love attracts only one thing and that thing is love. The better portion of all sales I have made were made after people had said no dot. The successful leader must plan his work and work his plan. Self-approval is a dangerous state of mind. Habits are first cobwebs, then cables. There is always room for those who can be relied upon to deliver the goods when they say they will. It is a fact that the majority of a man's griefs comes about through lack of self-control. Self-sacrifice is essential to leadership. You will give, give all the time. First you get a habit, then it gets you. Taking possession of your positive self will put you on the success beam that you may ride triumphantly to whatever heights of achievement you desire. You might well remember that nothing can bring you success but yourself. Happiness may be found only by helping others to find it. Most failures could have been converted into successes if someone had held on another minute or made more effort. No individual has sufficient experience, education, native ability and knowledge to ensure the accumulation of a great fortune without the cooperation of other people education comes from within you get it by struggle and effort and thought god has given us control over one thing in our lives our thoughts no two minds ever come together without thereby creating a third invisible intangible force which may be likened to a third mind. Don't ever admit that the world has not given you an opportunity. It is always your next move. Enthusiasm is contagious, and the person who has it, under control, is generally welcome in any group of people. Strength, both physical and spiritual, is the product of struggle. I realize the dominating thoughts of my mind will eventually reproduce themselves in outward, physical action, and gradually transform themselves into physical reality. Yesterday is gone forever. Make the most of today and tomorrow if you wish to make up for lost time. A quitter never wins and a winner never quits. Neglecting to broaden their view has kept some people doing one thing all their lives. If you are worried or afraid of anything, there is something in your mental attitude that needs correction. An educated person is not necessarily the one who has the knowledge, but the one who knows where to get it when needed. Man, alone, has the power to transform his thoughts into physical reality. Man, alone, can dream and make his dreams come true. Faith is the eternal elixir. It gives life, power, and action to the impulse of thought. Every human brain is both a broadcasting and receiving station for the vibration of thought. Fears are nothing more than a state of mind. Sex energy is the creative energy of all creative geniuses. The greatest achievement was, at first, and for a time, but a dream. That which you think today becomes that which you are tomorrow. Your mental attitude is the most dependable key to your personality. Fear, the worst of all enemies can be effectively cured by forced repetition of acts of courage. 
God seems to throw himself on the side of the man who knows exactly what he wants, if he is determined to get just that. No one can keep you down but yourself. Whatever mind can conceive and believe can be achieves. Men of action usually win, that is one of their distinctive features. The richest persons are those who give most in service to others. Any man is educated who knows where to get knowledge when he needs it, and how to organize that knowledge into definite plans of action. The ability to influence people without irritating them is the most profitable art known to men. The most common cause of fear of old age is associated with the possibility of poverty. Most people wish for riches, but few people provide the definite plan and burning desire which pave the road to wealth. Faith and fear make poor bedfellows. Where one is found, the other cannot exist. One must marry one's feelings to one's beliefs and ideas. That is probably the only way to achieve a measure of harmony in one's life. Desire is making people build ships and cities, has made men conquer nations, and it can defeat that nicotine. Drifting, without aim or purpose, is the first cause of failure. I will engage in no transaction which does not benefit all whom it affects. All great truths are simple in final analysis, and easily understood, if they are not, they are not great truths. If you do a job another's way, he or she must take the responsibility. If you do it your way, you must take the responsibility. It is a well-known fact that a man learns best that which he endeavors to teach others. What is initiative? I'll tell you, it is doing the right thing without being told. The jack-of-all-trades seldom is good at any. Concentrate all of your efforts on one definite chief aim. There is no hope of success for the person who does not have a central purpose or definite goal at which to aim. We are all salesmen regardless of our calling. But not all of us are master salesmen. The person who works harder when the boss isn't around is headed straight for a better job. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade and sell it to all of those who get thirsty from complaining. All thoughts which have been emotionalized, given feeling, and mixed with faith, begin immediately to translate themselves into their physical equivalent or counterpart. If you can't forgive, don't ask to be forgiven. Your big opportunity may be right where you are now. War grows out of the desire of the individual to gain advantage at the expense of his fellow men. Anything the human mind can believe, the human mind can achieve. The only break anyone can afford to rely upon is a self-made break dot. Faith is the head chemist of the mind. The world is ruled, and the destiny of civilization is established by the human emotions. One should use great care to select an employer who will be an inspiration, and who is, himself, intelligent and successful. We are creatures of imitation. We find it hard to resist the temptation to do that which we see others doing. There is but one dependable method of accumulating and legally holding riches, and that is by rendering useful service. Every adversity, every failure, and every heartache carries with it the seed of an equivalent or greater benefit. Truly, thoughts are things, and their scope of operation is the world itself. The road to success may be, and generally is, obstructed by many influences which must be removed before the goal can be reached. Fear is the tool of a man-made devil. 
Practical dreamers do not quit. Ideas are the beginning points of all fortunes. A fearless man thrives on far horizons. All achievements, all earned riches, have their beginning in an idea. No one is so good that he has no bad in him, and no one is so bad that he has no good in him. Intelligent planning is essential for success in any undertaking designed to accumulate riches. There is always plenty of capital for those who can create practical plans for using it. A mind ill with negative attitudes is more dangerous than a sick body, for its sickness is always contagious. The ladder of success is never crowded at the top. If the thing you wish to do is right, and you believe in it, go ahead and do it. Create a definite plan for carrying out your desire and begin at once, whether you're ready or not, to put this plan into action. Your own mental attitude is your real boss. The successful leader must be willing to assume responsibility for the mistakes and the shortcomings of his followers. The most damaging forms of intolerance are connected with religious, racial, and political differences of opinion. Success come to those who become success conscious. Out of resistance comes strength. The space you occupy and the authority you exercise may be measured with mathematical exactness by the service you render. If your environment is not to your liking, change it. Knowledge will not attract money unless it is organized and intelligently directed through practical plans of action to the definite end of accumulation of money. The possibilities of creative effort connected with the subconscious mind are stupendous and imponderable. They inspire one with awe. Loud threats often indicate deep fears. Dreams are the seedlings of reality.